course the bloody camera runs at on the uh, 59 minutes 59 second rule just as the music stops so it's a great tune I, I really like this tune actually don't think I've really said that about an ST game Right, not getting any glare on the old CRT glasses. Same guy who done the uh, title page, done the graphics in the game. Which is actually uh, quite nice graphics. Yeah, I'll bet you any money I played the train version, didn't I? Oh man! Yeah, I remember this bit of shoreline coming into view, I do. But I don't really remember, you know, the turrets or the enemy ship. But, uh, GTFO out the screen. Ooh, that's a bit of the And we need this one. So the real question is, uh, is Hybris on the Amiga better than uh, Terra Crestor on the C64? Because they're both ripping off the same uh, game. Why are you broken? What's the matter, bud? He's turned into a corporeal bloody poltergeist. Oh, bollocks. Can't stop there, really. Oh, yeah, the bit that comes after this. I remember that. Bet this was a pain in the ass with the uh, quick shot too. No, quick shot turbo. So the water there does look a bit rubbish, I admit that. And so if you did that as a, you know, 4K remaster, you'd have to do like, you know, a bit of white paper with some uh, crayon blobs on there or something, I don't know. So really, you just got to make sure you're in the uh, right part of the screen. See here, you're getting, uh, forced to move around the screen and I uh, see you would have missed the uh, power up anyway so the other important thing to note with this game is uh, the score in your lives and everything are in the border so the actual screen that's being scrolled is actually the full 
25 rows, 200 pixels. Iffy. Give me that goddamn thing. Oh man. You don't really get to use it. This game is as brutal as uh, when you first tried Raiden. Was it Raiden 2 on your uh, PS1? Yeah, I've got that somewhere. Fuck me, where it is. That's a really nice game, actually. Unfortunately, you have to have the music uh, off because I need to rewind the tape. Like I said, you've got to look after your tapes, mate. Now, what were we going to write? Ghost Chaser was fucked. So that goes in the. Uh, Done with you, buddy. Goes on the uh, oops floor carpet area. So we had mini bug and the traitor. Yeah, I'm holding off on uh, Widow's Revenge. I think it's a kickstone. So, uh, but now hybrid on the Amiga. If you didn't have a C64 and you had an Amiga, you play that if you like Terra Crystal. If you couldn't afford an Amiga and you you had a C64, then you get Terra Crystal. I don't think it's going to load, but who knows, mate. So, so it's really like uh, the difference between, like, if you had uh, a song that you really liked on a, a CD single or a, a 12 inch vinyl, you know, single, you know. With the remixes, if you're lucky, we give you the, uh, you know, the album or the uh, radio edit too. Yeah, I guess it's like that, really. Unless you've got some shit Amstrad uh, turntable, forget that, mate. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's fair to say. It's going to sound a bit different. Blockiness will equate to. Uh, Sound quality. Do not rewind. Whatever in my life. But the tapes will go bad. That's terrible advice. Now hurry up and load. Yeah, I think I think that's a great way. Because uh, an early CD player that I had. Uh, I think I was in the sixth form. Uh, so I would have been about 86. I don't think he's earlier than 86. I can't remember what year he was in. Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, anyway. And uh, it had a very sharp clinical sound to it. And uh, anyway, I got that from Comet or Dixon's or Curry's. And uh, he said to me, uh, do me a good deal on one. And I assumed, actually we'll end the story there. Uh, basically I got one and um, I had a Pioneer, well, I still got it actually, uh, Pioneer uh, Hi-Fi with a turntable as well. That was alright. Turntable was actually uh, not that bad on it, all things considered. Uh, and the, the twin graphics with the uh, twin spectrum analyzer, nice uh, Galaxy Invader 1000 style VFD uh, type displays, uh, that was nice. So yeah, if I played like the same thing on both, maybe a slightly different remix one on the other, but no, as long as I like them both equally, that's kind of what it's like. Here's Terra Cresta. Here's a bit of a grungy remix of Terra Crystal. There you go, mate.
an analog synth which is how the C64 generates all its uh, audio is a very grungy sort of uh, type of music whatever you do but it's also very powerful full of bass which also the C64 would be if you had it connected to a nice amp instead of a TV speaker so why am I playing this then? like I said DK, I wanted the other one to work but then Arctic software not much better What's going on there, buddy? Hmm? I hope that doesn't mean uh, in your language uh, I wish to use the litter tray fourth with and there, there doesn't appear to be one in this room Yeah, let's hope that's not what you're trying to tell me Yeah, of course you go silent Nah, didn't you? Now that I need you to distract people from the uh, black screen and totally silent uh, loading procedure. Oh, great. What do you do when you want to do a poo in an English country garden? You pull down your pants and you terminate the ants in your English country garden. God knows how old I was when that was uh, talked to me, but uh, yeah, anyway. Give it a chance. Oh! What happened there then? Oh, someone, something must have come out from the bottom of the screen. Oh, what an arsehole. I need to clear out these sections and the movement is really fine. Oh, you can go over the mushrooms. Oh, that's alright then. So there's a crab in this garden, so perhaps we're in the Caribbean? He does follow you around a bit, the old uh, oh, bollocks. Being a bit cocky there with my uh, meat and two veg. Now, statistically, I'm guessing these are Asian meat and two veg. And that's the statistics talking, that's not racism. Ah, oh, come on! The little hemorrhoids there. I think my cat has discovered something down the side of the wardrobe. I ain't got any batteries for that particular one. Yeah, what is he doing back there? You're extremely bored, aren't you? Press the firing button. It's actually better than Grid Runner. I don't think it said the uh, year there, so if it's the same year as Grid Runner, I would have preferred this actually. Just as devious. And difficult. This would probably be really easy to hack into and change the graphics. Because I think you're the only. Oh, actually, some of the bigger things might be sprites, but. Uh, don't think I've ever played Millipede, actually. And I know there isn't a Millipede clone on the C64, well there wasn't on the uh, C64. That's a bit iffy him doing that there, down there. Bloody hell we've done a level. Well, nothing's really changed. So I, I don't know why the mushrooms ain't sort of like light grey and uh, cat's bottom and... Uh, I want to shoot this now, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what he wants actually, he's just bored. That's not the noise to say the birds outside, I would like them in my tummy. Ooh, bloody hell, that's not good. Ah, oh, shit. Bloody hell. I was trying to clear the bloody mushrooms. 
So because the, the controls are fine pixel movement for you, it actually is harder with a joystick to play this game. But with a trackball, and therefore the Neos mouse, uh, which you can use in joystick mode, I think you uh, switch it, switch the C64 on with both mouse buttons pressed or something. Yeah, you really want to clear things like that out of the way. So when Mr. Zoidberg's uh, little brother comes along, you sort him out and Seems pretty random when that thing comes out. Yeah, the little crab thing. Oh. Ooh, crabs can be killed by poisonous caterpillars. Because the purple ones are obviously poisonous. That's what they taught us in school. Only eat the green caterpillars because nature gives the other colours as a warning. Purple, red, reddish purple, yellow. Sounds like an episode of Sesame Street. I am aware of this situation and I have forthwith ceased all such uh, stupidness. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Getting the mushrooms is very fiddly. The rest of the game is absolutely fine. It's a game of life really this, you've got to protect your meat and two veg in it. Well that also looks like a man with a, a conical party hat with some enormous comical uh, binoculars. Straight on obviously. C64 is not a 3D computer at all. And nor is a 1701 a 3D monitor like that film. Uh, paycheck. Which is spelt incorrectly. Check is spelt with a Q, not CK. I'm not checking my pay. I want the fucking bank check from the exchequer. I presume uh, that's who gave you the checks and hence the name. That yeah, is pretty good, I have to say. I prefer this to Grid Runner. So I found something better than Matrix, even though that only got two out of five, and uh, we run, uh, Matrix got five out of five. I actually did our search for. Uh, well, I might have done a search for Grid Runner, not Matrix. I have to check that out. One of them got five out of five. Definitely got a high score here. Alright, should be safe to go down now. Right, come on, you asshole. Yeah, I'm just avoiding the birds. I'm not really going for points. I'm hoping level 5 is a suitably high number that the colour will change. No, they should have changed the background to green. So. I know it probably looks shit over RF on uh, most cheap t televisions, but uh, that's pretty good. And you can rewind the tape, extra 0.1% for that. And next, we're going to be playing with a penetrator, is what some uh, MILF, which is not a term I agree with. Actually, it could be. Who knows, mate? Uh, might be playing with a sex toy called such a name but however we're playing this rubbish actually I don't know if this is rubbish I think it's rubbish on the spectrum but it's actually quite fast and it is rewound Now I did play Wizardry. Oh 
man, come on. God damn it, will you shit. Yeah, it don't get any lighter, does it? It's quite a dark picture anyway. Yeah, bollocks. Let there be light. There go. Well, obviously that won't make any fucking difference. Oh, it does. Love that picture. The penetrator is loading. And, uh, yeah, I suppose, uh, quick clip of, uh, South Park Creme Fresh would be a good one there, possibly. Those things actually exist, they just don't squirt the, uh, fake spunk, which is obviously what they're going on about. Now, I remember playing this game about 20 years ago uh, using the uh, the clear competition pro 5000 thingy red buttons red stick uh, clear case and uh, you know not micro switch buttons just the uh, shaft penetrator shaft everything man we're gonna get adult content what was that thing called in America I have a specific code for that I preferred it in the UK when it was uh, just just the numbers really don't have to remember fuck all it's an 18 film you don't look 18 it's something that I was never asked actually because I went to see Rambo in the cinema now I've got to find out when that happened but I went to see it in the Odeon in Enfield Town uh, which is no longer there, it's been turned into some cheap flats for the losers well, I suppose they're better than the uh, tiny house brigade oh no the millennials have cursed me uh, and uh, yeah I went to see uh, Rambo I think I I think I bunked off school actually. I'm going to have to check that date because if it's before a certain date then I definitely uh, bunked off school. And I don't actually remember doing that but I know it was a weekday. And all I did was uh, not shave for a week. Now for legal reasons I can't tell you what age I believe I was at the time because I don't know exactly when Rambo come out the movie in the UK specifically uh, North London although technically Middlesex uh, uh, it's not going to work anyway ah uh, see I've ragged on this game so much I've belittled it I've made sexual innuendos it just doesn't want to work and the funny thing is the ca camera battery light is flashing so oh, that's a bit fucked. And there's nothing, I don't think I'll be able to load anything that quickly. By the time I even decide what to load. Well, scuba dive is early game, but there's loads of tape on there to load. This looks sort of short. And it's rewound to the wrong side, so. Uh, It's one of these tapes that don't like to fucking go in. Need to fast forward a bit because the camera battery uh, warning is flashing there on the LCD. So this will have to be the next game I play, but I'm not leaving the C64 on again. Not again! Found fucking fucked. There's a single fucking F in the word Percy or K soft. So why is it called FF? Am I a fucking fool for buying this? Well, it technically it'd be a fucking flick. That seemed like the correct term for the time. Right, double reading glasses, on you go. Electron microscope. Let's check out the weed in the paper. Wow, these are quite big fonts. This is 1986 and it looks shit. This is a cover, mate. And uh, 
you're lucky you, you can't see that. In fact, there's more light coming from the fucking CRT behind you. Very thin paper. You, you could rip this off straight away. If this game is worth 100 quid or something, you could uh, churn these out for like 2 quid each in bulk. Percy decided to make his fortune pearl diving. Help the poor chap collect his treasure from the ocean depths whilst avoiding the sea creatures. With no scrolling. And the picture's so bad I can't tell if they're multicolor or high res graphics. There is nothing and that is literally it. That is all they have to say. Ah, bollocks. I don't mention joystick anywhere and it gives you keyboard control. I'm glad the battery's about to run out and it probably won't go. But I bet it will. It's in mint condition, actually. Another one that I would never have uh, bought from anyway. Uh, just bought from uh, Derek's record store in uh, Edmonton Green, London. That's Edmonton N9, not N18. Just so you know. It was actually a nice place in the 70s. It wasn't that bad. It's a real fucking shithole now. So, and they've torn down the, uh, well, half of the uh, shopping centre. And, uh, I don't know, they just fucked it up. Looks like some Tesco value Spanish fucking towel block, if you ask me. So a little bit better than the ones that were there before, but I don't think it really needed to demolish so much. So, uh, oh bollocks. What the fuck was the uh, snap there of the seat? What the hell? Definitely ran something and now it's loading again. There's a hell of a lot of... Oh, here we go. bit weird but the joystick does work so oh the joystick's reversed is it supposed to be like that oh, look. what's the up and down business i forgot the keys now oh q and a wasn't it no, so it works fine with uh, keyboard controls. So you have to play it with keyboard, really. Even though it almost works with a joystick, it's just when you press left, it goes right. It's a really shit game anyway. Right, I could probably get used to the up and down being reversed, so... Uh, but I've had to turn the bloody joystick upside down. Because left and right are uh, bollocks. It goes all the way to the end. What a shit game. Might as well play it on fucking keys then. And once you start moving, you can't stop. I was very touchy about that bit. It might have been better. Oh, I'll just follow him around, didn't it? No, but it's fucking horrendous game. What piece of shit. It is for uh, you fucking flit. You bought my game. You motherfucker. I could have written this in fucking basic lightning if there was a compiler for it, but I would have worked out how to use uh, white lightning, the fourth based version, which is just as fast, if not faster, than uh, compiled basic 
lightning stroke, laser, basic, motherfucker. And he looks like fucking Humpty Dumpty. He looks like Eugene from uh, level five of Panic Miner. Uh, but this, this business with a fucking being pixel perfect with that shit. So why can't I go up and get there? Ah, oh, what a stupid fucking bit of coding. He goes really fast, that bastard. You have to sort of go left and right up against the scenery, really. Ooh, that was beefy. So I presume that's the exit then. Yeah, fuck you. This bonus is going down though. Bloody, the graphics have actually improved but the controls haven't you stick on every tiny little fucking stalactite and stalagmite it's worse than smurf rescue i wish i was playing smurf rescue i wish player two player two enough 